the BRICS and the upcoming summit. Hello and welcome to News Face That Days, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally and internationally. In today's news analysis, we'll explore the BRICS and its upcoming summit's major issues. Stay tuned. The BRICS is a group of five emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. They represent about 50% of the world's population and 35% of the global GDP. The BRICS was formed in 2006 as a platform for dialogue and cooperation among the five countries on issues of common interest, such as trade, investment, finance, health, education, energy, climate change, and security. The BRICS holds annual summits where the leaders of the five countries meet to discuss their agenda and sign agreements. The first summit was held in 2009 in Russia. The 14th summit will be held in 2023 in South Africa. The upcoming summit is expected to be a milestone for the BRICS, as it will announce its expansion to include more countries. According to South Africa's ambassador to the BRICS, 22 nations have formally requested to join the group and more than 20 others have expressed interest. The expansion of the BRICS aims to enhance its geopolitical influence and diversity, as well as to foster cooperation and development among the emerging and developing countries. However, it also faces challenges and controversies such as the criteria for admission, the balance of power among members, and their relations with other blogs and organizations. Another major topic of the summit will be the creation of a new currency, of a new reserve currency that will challenge the U.S. dollar's dominance in global trade and finance. During the 2022 BRICS summit, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced that the bloc was working to create an international reserve currency. The currency will be based on a basket of BRICS currencies and backed by hard assets, such as gold and oil. The currency will aim to reduce the dependence on the U.S. dollar and to increase the stability and resilience of the BRICS economies. However, there are challenges of creating a new reserve currency. Creating a new reserve currency is not an easy task, as it requires a lot of coordination, cooperation, and trust among countries involved. A reserve currency is a currency that is widely used and held by central banks and other institutions as part of their foreign exchange reserves. A reserve currency can facilitate international trade and finance, as well as provide stability and liquidity to the global financial system. However, there there are also many challenges and risks associated with creating a new reserve currency. Some of the main challenges are the acceptance and adoption of the new currency by other countries and markets. A new reserve currency needs to have a large and liquid market, as well as a credible and transparent monetary policy. It also needs to be widely accepted and trusted by other countries and investors who may have different preferences and expectations. The coordination and governance of the new currency. A new currency reserve requires a high degree of coordination and cooperation among the issuing countries, especially on issues such as exchange rate policy, physical policy, financial regulation and supervision, and crisis management. It also requires a clear and effective governance structure that can ensure accountability, legitimacy, and representation of the diverse interests and views of the participating countries. The impact and implication of the new currency on the existing reserve currencies, especially the U.S. dollar. A new reserve currency may pose a challenge and a threat to the dominance and influence of the U.S. dollar, which has been the world's primary reserve currency for decades. A shift away from the U.S. dollar may have significant consequences for the U.S. economy, as well as for the global financial stability and order. Some benefits of having multiple reserve currencies Having multiple reserve currencies can have some benefits for the global economy and the participating countries. Some of the main benefits are It can increase the diversity and resilience of the global financial system as it can reduce the reliance and vulnerability on a single currency or country. It can also provide more options and flexibility for countries and investors to diversify their portfolio and hedge their risks. It can enhance the competitiveness and efficiency of the global market as it can foster more innovation and development in the financial sector. It can also create more opportunities and incentives for trade and investment among different regions and countries. It can promote more balance and fairness in the global governance as it can reflect the changing dynamics and realities of the world economy. It can also encourage more cooperation and dialogue among the major economies and stakeholders on issues of common interest and concern. There are also drawbacks of having multiple reserve currencies Having multiple reserve currencies can also have some drawbacks for the global economy and the participating countries. Some of the main drawbacks are It can increase the complexity and uncertainty of the global financial system as it can create more volatility and fluctuations in the exchange rates and interest rates. It can also pose more challenges and costs for countries and investors to manage their exposure and transactions in different currencies. It can reduce the effectiveness and coordination of the global policy as it can create more divergence and conflict among the major economies and stakeholders on issues such as monetary policy, 
physical policy, financial regulation and supervision, and crisis management. It can also undermine the role of authority of the existing institutions and mechanisms, such as the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the Special Drawing Rights, SDR. It can trigger more competition and rivalry among the reserve currency issuers, as well as between them and the rest of the world. It can also create more imbalances and inequalities in the global distribution of wealth and power, as well as in the access to resources and opportunities. In conclusion, the leaders of the BRICS nations are discussing the creation of a new currency that will rival the U.S. dollar as the global reserve standard. The new common reserve currency aims to bolster trade ties, strengthen economic cooperation, and reduce BRICS nations' dependency on dominant reserve currencies such as the U.S. dollar. The de-dollarization of the global market would insulate the BRICS nations from the threat of economic sanctions similar to the ones that the United States recently imposed on Russia and Iran. However, it is unlikely that a BRICS currency will dislodge the dollar anytime soon, but it signifies growing challenge to established economic order. Thank you very much for staying with us, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more information.